This is a movie maker um, is still in the memory as far as an executable program and I'm going to show that how we can get rid of it using the process tab from Task Manager. Here I'm just showing you that uh, this is uh, the command line showing you it was I was editing Orange Bubbly, um, a movie I'm working on. And uh, here it shows that uh, on the extreme right is data execution prevention is enabled for it. Um, now, real player is also, I noticed, was still in my memory in the process tab. Although, when you go to my um, uh, taskbar, I'm going to show you that I don't have any of the movie maker is not running, and nor is uh, the... Uh, here I'm showing you in the, that the CPU is reasonably not all that busy and so on. It's doing normal whatever I've got running. And um, here's my taskbar, and I'm showing that I have uh, just uh, some a few programs running, some folders open. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to show you my system tray icons, showing that there's no movie maker or um, real player icons there. And uh, now we're going to go and uh, try and run Real Player, but I found that uh, it won't run if it's already running. And uh, that's kind of a funny thing that uh, I had a problem with Windows Media Player. I don't know if that was the thing that was causing it not to run because it was already running. I don't. But um, here I'm also trying to run the Real Player SP. Uh, version and um, it uh, uh, both places I've tried to activate it as you can see there's nothing on the taskbar uh, these are all s captures uh, that I do sequentially using earthenware snip now we're going to go and show that the CPU is not busy loading in the program because it's already loaded of course you see so we're going to go over to the process tab now and we're going to uh, uh, in the process by highlighting the particular process that we want. Now I'm using the tab key, not using the uh, cursor, the uh, mouse, and so on. And now I'm going to tab some more, and then I'm going to highlight, activate the in process, but uh, as there it's highlighted, but uh, I should be able to hit the inner key, but uh, I'm not able to. I have to use the space bar in order to uh, without using the mouse. Now here, the same thing is highlighted, um, but I can press the enter key on this one. And uh, I have um, double accentuated my um, outline. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that later. Anyway, now as we can see, real player is not in the um, process tab. Uh, there's nothing crazy going on in my CPU because I did that in process. Uh, you shouldn't in process just on anything and everything you feel like doing. Uh, now we're going to go, I believe, and then do Movie Maker, since uh, Movie Maker was the one that kind of first brought my attention to what were these invalid processes. Oh no, now we're going to, uh, uh, since we ended it, now I'm going to run the program, at least hopefully, and it does run. And uh, it runs just fine. And then we go back to the task manager, and we can see that um, uh, that it is there, and it should be there because we called it up. And uh, the asterisk 32 means it's a 32-bit pro uh, processing program. And uh, that's because I got the 64-bit version of Vista. And uh, that's a, an interesting difference of, I didn't really. So here we have, uh, I'm going to close out the uh, real player by going to the uh, exit icon, uh, close icon box in the right, top right. And there you see that it's, uh, it says, oh, you can almost barely get the exit in there. But it's reddish, and so it's being clicked, and it's going to go away. And then we're going to look at the process tab, and we see that uh, we see that we don't see any real play.exe file in there um, listed. 
And so now we're going to do the same thing with Movie Maker as far as in the process uh, uh, by highlighting the um, in process on the right hand bottom side and uh, I have to press the space bar as I said and uh, then when it brings me up the dialog box to say in process uh, this one here I can press the enter key or the space bar key uh, to end the process so this will end the process and uh, we'll see in the process tab of the task manager uh, that there is no movie maker and that's the way it should be because it's not supposed to be running and I closed it out.